Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a beef pot pie. This is the first time I'm making um, the pot pie um, with a pie shell. I tried making it before. I posted it on my Instagram. Um, I did a chicken pot pie, but inst I didn't have the pie crust. So instead I used a para um, parathas. They're like Indian flatbread. And it actually turned out pretty good, but I wanted to try it with a pie shell. So I thought I would record this and show you how I made it. And uh, hopefully you'll feel inspired to try making it yourself or uh, trying different recipes. So I'll show you how I um, made the beef pot pie. Okay, so ingredients so far, uh, depending if you want the pie crust on the bottom and the top. Um, you can use a whole package of this. I got the Pillsbury um, pie crust. Um, there's two crusts in one for a nine inch pan. Um, so this was thawing in the refrigerator and then you're supposed to leave it out for 15 minutes uh, to room temperature. So I it, the 15 minutes is up. I have my oven preheating. It's supposed to be at 450 but I don't want my crust to burn so I have it at 350. What am I go what I'm gonna do is put it in the sorry don't mind my messy kitchen I didn't clean it up yet in this Pyrex uh, 9 inch pie pan. Um, I'm just gonna put the bottom crust in, bake it and I have it on low so that the crust doesn't burn. I don't want the edges to burn. It says to cover it with foil and have it at 350, but I don't want it that high. So I'm going to do it lower and uh, just keep an eye on the pie crust. So I have that in there. Uh, it's going in there. And then I have my leftover um, beef roast that we had for the Easter long weekend. Um, we made it on Sunday, today is Tuesday. So we have this much meat left. What I'm gonna do is save some of it and make sandwiches for the kids because I'm not sure how they're gonna like the pie because they're very picky. So I'm gonna cut off a couple of slices and make sandwiches for them. And the rest of the meat is gonna go in the filling for the, um, the pie. So what I did was I took the juices from the bottom of the pan and I put it in my pot with a boolean um, beef stock cube and I added three about three cups it might be a little bit more uh, depending on how saucy you want it I just did three mugs of water with it so I just have it on low I'm just letting it warm up and get kind of bubbly and then I'm gonna add um, the vegetables that I want to put in there so while that's warming up I am going to do the pie crust. Okay, this is the first time I'm dealing with pie crust, so bear with me. They're packaged in two little holes. One for the top, one for the bottom. Let's start. So depending on what kind of pie you want to make, like if you're making an apple pie, you're supposed to pierce the bottom of the pie crust with a fork, I guess just so it doesn't uh, burn and it stays even. I'm not 100% sure, that's what I'm guessing. So you just roll it out, be very careful you don't tear it. And then just place it in the pan. It's kind of hard to film it with stand. And depending on how fancy you want to make it, you can do like the crimping if you really wanted to, but I think that's you do on the top of the pie crust. I don't know if you're supposed to grease the pan, I never did. <laughs> no, place it in ungreased pie plate. Glass recommended. Good. So 
So it says, if making pecan or other high sugar filled pie, sprinkle both sides of crust with flour before placing in pie plate. I guess so it doesn't um, it doesn't burn and get sticky to the to the plate. say how long I have to cook it for. Oh, that's for one crust pie. Oh, two crust pie. Maybe I don't have to cook it. But I had to cook it. See, I'm learning as I go, guys. Okay, so the pie shell is ready. I don't think I have to cook it. I was reading the wrong one. Okay, so this is ready. I'm just going to leave it and I'm going to for the vegetables to the um, uh, this filling to get ready warmed up. So I'm just using this no name California blend to mix vegetables. You can use any vegetables you want. Um, this one has carrots, cauliflower, and broccoli. And I'm also adding some frozen peas and carrots as well. Um, you can add corn as, uh, if you want, potatoes. Um, I can't have corn, so I'm not going to put that in because of my colitis. And um, my kids don't like potatoes, so we're going with these. I know the kids will eat the broccoli and cauliflower and the carrots. The peas, it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they eat it, sometimes they don't. So that's what I'm going to be adding to my um, stock mixture. And uh, to make it thick, you can either add a little bit of cornstarch or flour. I'm going to add flour to this because when I did it with the um, chicken pot pie, it turned out like a, it was like a nice consistency to it. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I just have to wait. Once the filling was thick enough and the vegetables were cooked, I put it in the pie crust, which is what I'm doing here, and then I put the top of the pie crust on top and I vented the top of the crust so that some of the air can escape. And then I covered the, um, the pie crust with foil so that the crust didn't burn and I let it cook for about I think it was 30 minutes or so, and then I uncovered, like I took off the foil and cooked the pie crust the rest of the way.
Because I didn't cook the bottom of the pie crust, the pie at the bottom was a little bit um, soggy, so I suggest if you are going to make a two crust pie that you do bake the bottom of the crust for a little bit so it cooks so it's not so soggy because once you put the filling the crust gets a little bit soggy but this is the final product um, it was very tasty um, and as always the first piece is always the hardest to get out um, I did cook the pie at a lower temperature but I cooked it for longer so it did turn out well and I really enjoyed it my husband also enjoyed it as well so please make sure you like and subscribe and if you want to see more of these videos please comment in the comment section below thanks bye for now